सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स डॉक्टर जंकी दिस साइड एंड टुडे वी हैव केस ऑफ अ हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू पीआरपी फॉर हिम सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट डॉक्टर हाउ द पीआरपी इज इफेक्टिव द हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट सो इट्स लाइक नेसेसरी टू डू द पीआरपी बिफोर और आफ्टर हेयर ट्रांसप्लांट और लाइक इट्स लाइक आई विल नॉट एबल टू कम बैक टू द इंडिया और टू द टू द क्लिनिक सो इज इट पॉसिबल दैट आई विल गेट द सेम रिजल्ट If I'm not doing the PRP, these are some questions that is arising after hair transplant or just before hair transplant. So I personally believe that if you are taking the PRP sessions before hair transplant, it's always good because that area will be more fertile, you have more growth factors, and obviously your planting hair and the existing hair will grow with time. Now after hair transplant session, then you can plan for some PRP sessions, and the PRP is can be divided every month, possible that you can come to the clinic. Otherwise, you can plan every two months also. So most of time I'm doing like two times, like every PRP after two months. I'm trying my best to add the PRPs. It can be uh, during the hair transplant also so that enhance the area and uh, after hair transplant i used to plan the prps every two months okay some doctors are there doing every every month that is also like uh, uh, good so is no in kind of fixed protocol and criteria then when we can plan for the prp sessions but yes if you are doing prp sessions monthly once or once in two months this will always good for you second even after eight months or 10 months you can continue your prp sessions every three months so that will also improve the existing hair and planted hair so in that way that you can just enhance the effect of the hair transplant and existing hair with the pr thank you